So I'm with Scott Miller up in a turbine in Central Oregon, and he owns, and his wife, yeah, have my a, wife and uh, I, Debbie, uh, we own Crescent place. Moon Ranch Alpacas and Alpaca Boutique. Sweet. And how many alpacas do you have here? We have 150 to 170. We're full-time breeders, but uh, also for full-time in the retail industry. Uh, we've combined the best of uh, alpaca retail with the best of alpaca breeding and created an agritourism opportunity. Wow. Uh, and you know what I didn't say is that uh, we do have parking for RVs. So. Oh, yes, <laughs> they do. There's enough yeah, room here for yeah. The neat thing about this farm is you can kind of touch and feel everything also. So uh, um, we're fortunate to be able to come inside here and uh, interview the owners here, but typically everybody can uh, walk, feed the animals, what else, uh, just in, kind of feel yeah. like they're part of the farm. Yeah, enjoy the beauty of it. Uh, they're interesting creatures. They're members of the camel family, and so their behavior is not like regular livestock. They're qui inquisitive and curious. Yeah. Like you can see, uh, old Wilkinson yeah, coming right, right up to us here. So everybody can see that. Just rotate the uh, yeah, that's... screen. You can see the alpacas right here. We got one very curious. And, Wilkinson's uh... this year's gray male national champion. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So we're in, we're, we're, we're in the midst of royalty. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> so is this the breeding stock then? So <laughs> these are some of our breeding studs. Yeah, we keep the males and the females oh, separated the males. until it's time to bring one together with the other and that's a very discerning process for us <laughs> wow so now do alpacas spit like llamas alpacas are members of the camel family and as we all know camels and llamas spit so yes alpacas do as well uh, it's the only way that they can protect themselves yeah. uh, other than to herd up and try to intimidate a potential predator yeah. it also uh, allows them to interact when they're dissatisfied with their buddies so ah, gotcha. if, if somebody's in their food space or their personal space <laughs> you'll, you'll you'll <laughs> see them you'll see them acting that way they very <laughs> seldom spit at people it's usually spitting at one another oh, wow. where they uh, where you'll see that behavior before we go I'll also remind you these guys have their own store with a lot of the products from their uh, alpacas so we'll take the um, the 360 into your store and let people yeah, see good, them. So, good. Anyway, thank you they're awesome products <laughs> Hope you come visit us. So we're out in the front field. Uh, this is where the prime, your major stock is, right? The females. Of uh, the females. Yep. Of course, we we're just over. You saw us over the males. I wanted to look behind me here, and you'll see that we have a one-year-old, uh, one, one month, month old, one month old little girl. And uh, he was saying that she's actually a lot about the size that she was when she was born, just filling out more with fur and, yep. and, and uh, but they're all just legs and, and neck, and it, it's so true. But that's her, let's see if I can get a little closer without getting anybody mad at me. And there she is. All right, we're gonna go into their store and show you around with the 360. Oh, so soft, it's really soft. So we're in Culver, and with this camera, you probably can't see distance very far. And I apologize for that, but it's real pretty through here. Nothing but farmland, and we are using the other cameras right now, but you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different mountains, nine different mountains from here using uh, our other cameras, which we did on on a different show. but. Thought we'd just show you with the 360 how pretty it is back here. Lots of farmland, quiet. The only noises you hear is people working their farms and tractors and stuff. But so this is Culver in Central Oregon. We are now standing on the edge, up above Lake Billy Chinook, and basically we're just a mile or two out of Culver, which is um, just a small little town in Central Oregon, and. This is a big reservoir that three rivers feed into the Crooked River, Crooked River, the Deschutes River, and the Willamette River all feed into this reservoir. 
and this is just one finger of it there's actually three main fingers to this lake or reservoir and it's just beautiful up here and this particular day you can see all the mountains in the background uh, with this camera you probably can't see it too well but we can see Mount Hood, Mount Jefferson, Three Finger Jack, Black Butte, Three Sisters and just the tip of Mount Bachelor so that's a beautiful take a look around there uh, there is a park boat launch and a little farther down a marina and they also ran out uh, houseboats here so this place is a little more active in the summer you would think it's 90 degrees with the pictures I'm taking now but it's only like I think it's a 50 degree day it's pretty good for this time of year I think we're it's February it's nice, it's nice. So there you go, Lake Billy Chinook in Central Oregon. Good morning there, 360 viewers. Um, today, uh, I'm just going to give you a little demonstration of, we've been working on the RV a lot, I'm working on the slides, and we're in somebody's property. Really nice place, so you can kind of look around. And we cooked hot dogs last night. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd take you up on the ladder over here and show you what we've been doing and get a interesting view with the 360 so don't laugh at me but gives you an idea we've been working on the uh, got to bring this down on the roof a little bit putting a, a new seal tape for uh, slides so we got that installed and if I hold up a little bit Oh, uh, the, let's see, <laughs> the vent that is right off to my right, the closest one you see, not the uh, air conditioner, we had to fix, because I hit it with a branch, and that's also the one, uh, the fantastic fan we repaired. So anyway, you can kind of see up above where we're parked, we're in Central Oregon, a real fortune to be staying here. This is a great place for us to work on the RV. Today we're actually taking a look at a uh, viewpoint at Pineville, Oregon. So the Crooked River cuts through this town and then there's a reservoir way up above and mountains up there. Oh, you'll also be surprised that this is where Les Schwab originated from. The warehouses down below is part of the Les Schwab distribution center, I believe. And this little town is slowly growing, but they got kind of devastated for a while. They uh, had a lumber mill that went out of business, and some other businesses, can't remember the names of some of the other ones, left in the mid 2000s. Yeah, but the little city's bouncing back pretty good now, so Prineville, Oregon. Sherry and I stopped by the Ochico Reservoir and there's a little park here and you can camp during the season but not right now it's closed but what you're seeing is uh, <laughs> a little cove that's almost out of water and it looks like a couple people launched their boats but this boat launch here barely has enough water to launch a boat but it looks like they're able to get out anyway I just thought it would give you a little peek at it this week I'm gonna wrap it up for 360s I uh, hope you enjoyed what we had uh, for you this week. Uh, we just found out, by the way, that we can upload videos, 360 videos, to Facebook. So we're going to start experimenting with that too. So you may be able to see our videos on Facebook and YouTube. We'll see. Anyway, I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> From RV Travel Buddy, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.